Wallace sent us a letter inviting us to Fort Belvedere first week in September. Yes, should be great fun. We're used to getting all invitations from you, David. Oh, I'm happy to let Wallace write my letters. She's much better at it than I am. <laughs> How lucky you are. How much longer will you be staying in the... South, South of France. Until September. So sorry for the delay. Lunch will be ready any minute. Edward was just telling us how indispensable you've become to him. And where's your husband these days, Mrs. Simpson? He's working. In London. Right, yes, sir. Apparently, she invited a string of Americans to stay with them in camp. How oh, cool. Well, you know how fond David is of Americans. I'm sure the rumors aren't entirely true, Your Majesty. Which rumors? That he's, well, rather serious about her. What do you mean, serious? She's a married woman. David has always had the most atrocious judgment. Up to God, he never marries or has children. Nothing comes between Bertie and Lilibet in the throne. Your Majesty, <laughs> David has always been destined for greatness. And in any case, I'm sure it will never come to that. <laughs> Your Majesty, His Royal Highness, the Duke of Windsor, is calling from Paris. He says it's urgent. Tell him the King is otherwise engaged. You know what he's calling about, and you know you'll give in if you speak to him. He's my... Brother. The last thing you need is your brother, the Nazi, dashing around England with that trollop of a wife. Didn't know. Nobody knew. They dined together. That is enough for me. Churchill dined with Stalin. My brother is not a Nazi. You're not being... We're struggling to maintain an empire. And you're doing so well. Tell him I'm busy. Yes, Your Majesty. 